everyone, this is Cody at Lambda. Today we're going to cover using Cube AI to deploy news researches, Hermes 3, and other LLMs. Specifically in this tutorial, we'll be using news researches Hermes 3 fine-tuned Llama 3.18b model, as well as NVIDIA's Nemotron fine-tuned Llama 3.170b model. In this tutorial, we will stand up a single node Kubernetes cluster on a Lambda public cloud 8x H100 on-demand instance. We'll install the NVIDIA GPU operator so that the Kubernetes cluster can use the instance's GPUs. We'll deploy Kube AI in the Kubernetes cluster. We will interact with the models using Kube AI's web UI as well as Kube AI's open AI compatible API, and we'll use the program NVTOP so that we can observe GPU utilization. The first step is to launch an 8x H100 instance using either the Lambda Cloud dashboard or the Lambda Cloud API. Once our instance has launched, we will SSH into the instance, and unlike the usual way that we SSH into our instance, we'll append to the command dash capital L eight zero eight zero colon localhost eight zero eight zero. What the dash capital L option does is it enables local port forwarding, which we will use later in this tutorial in in order to access QBAI's web-based UI. Once we're SSH'd into our instance, we'll run this command, which installs the utility SOCAT, which is necessary to enable port forwarding in our Kubernetes cluster so that we can interact with Kube AI. We'll install K3S, which is a lightweight Kubernetes distribution by running this command which should only take a few seconds to complete. We can confirm that the cluster is up and running by running this command. We see that a single node is showing and is ready. This next command that I'm running is an optional command that enables tab completion just to make life easier when running kubectl commands, um, just like with other programs that use tab completion, you can just double tap tab and it'll complete the command if the utility or program is able to. Next, we're installing the NVIDIA GPU operator, which again, allows our Kubernetes cluster to use our instances GPUs. And this step takes maybe at most two minutes. We can check the status of the installation of the NVIDIA GPU operator by running this command. So we see progress being made, but when the GPU operator is completely installed, we're gonna see more details such as the number of GPUs detected as well as the type of GPUs detected. Okay, at this point, we see that the NVIDIA GPU operator has completed installing. We can confirm the type of GPUs in our instance. This reflects H100 GPUs. And we see a GPU count of eight, which is expected. We have an 8x H100 instance. Now that we have the NVIDIA GPU operator installed, we can install kubeai by running this command. The Cube AI installation typically takes two to three minutes to finish. We can track the progress of the installation by running this command which watches for pods in the running status. What we're looking for is under the ready column, one out of one. This output right here shows that Cube AI has one pod running out of the one pod requested. Then we saw that the open web UI pod had zero pods out of one requested running and now we have one pod out of the one requested running simply we have 
Cube AI entirely running at this point. To stop watching the progress, I'm pressing Control C. Next, we're ready to download and serve the Hermes 3 and Nematron models. We do that by running this command. And this command takes a little bit longer than all of the previous commands that we ran to complete, just because of the size of these models, multiple gigabytes to download. And while we wait, let me go ahead and highlight the differences between the Hermes 3 manifest and the Nematron manifest. What we see is that for the Hermes 3 model, we have a request of one NVIDIA H100 GPU compared to the Nematron model, which requests four NVIDIA GPU H100s. The reason for this difference is the Hermes 3 model is smaller in size and can be loaded onto a single GPU, whereas the Nematron model cannot fit on a single GPU. So we're specifying four GPUs or we're, we're requesting four GPUs. We also have this argument of tensor parallel size four, which instructs the LLM to serve this model divided amongst four GPUs, which again is required because the Nematron model isn't capable of fitting onto a single GPU. In order to know that the models are downloaded and being served, we can run this command. And similar to what we demonstrated earlier in this video is that we have zero out of one ready. And this is true of both the Hermes 3 model as well as the the Nematron model. So even though they show as running, that indicates that things are going well. So we can see now that with the Hermes 3 model, we have one out of one ready. Right now, we're still waiting for the Nematron model. This one is expected to take longer to download just because it's significantly larger in size. So again, this process maybe takes four minutes or five minutes. What we see right now is the Nematron model uh, has completed downloading that's indicated by the one out of one ready. And even though the, the column doesn't show that uh, it's not labeled ready, we know from previous steps that what would it be above these zero out of ones and one out of ones, it's the ready column. So again, just uh, simply stating that the Nematron model at this point is ready, as well as the Hermes 3 model, which loaded earlier. To stop watching, pressing Control C. This next command we're running enables port forwarding so that we can access the web UI of Cube AI from our computer. Now that we have port forwarding enabled, I will open up a browser window and go to localhost port 8080. In our browser, we will select a model, either the Hermes 3 model or the Llama 3.1 Nematron model. For this video, let's go ahead and use the Llama 3.1 Nematron model in a small table, compare and contrast machine learning and deep learning. Let's go ahead and run this. And the model is returning what we prompted it to do, which is compare and contrast machine learning and deep learning and place this information in a small table. So we've confirmed that the web UI works. Next, let's go ahead and test out Cube AI's OpenAI compatible API. Back on our instance, as opposed to being on our local computer, we will install curl and JQ by running this command. Next, we will enable port forwarding, this time to enable access to the API rather than Cube AI's web UI.
In this next step, we'll enable port forwarding this time to the API as opposed to the web UI, which is the port forwarding we set up earlier in this video. Now we have port forwarding enabled so that we can access the OpenAI compatible API. And we will test that the API is functioning as expected, first by listing the models being served by CubeAI. I'll list the models by running this command. We see in this output, we have the Hermes 3 model, as well as the Nematron model. Next, let's go ahead and submit an example prompt to the API by running this command. This command will prompt the Nematron model with machine learning engineers R dot dot dot. So I submitted that command, and what do we see the model responding with? Machine learning engineers are 2023's most in-demand tech professionals, according to a new report from Indeed. Finally, in this video, we will observe GPU utilization using the nvtop command. Here, I'm running the nvtop command. What we see right now are none of the GPUs in our instance are being utilized. However, memory is being used on devices 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. This indicates that on GPUs 0 through 4, the models are loaded. Back in the browser, we will enter an example prompt such as, in 10,000 words or more, explain what large language models are. Once I submit this prompt, we'll see in NVTOP that GPU utilization is going up. Since we're using the Nematron model, we'll see that on four GPUs, the utilization is going up. Once we submit that prompt, we can see that utilization is increasing on GPUs 0 through 3, which indicates that the model is running inference. Next in the browser, we'll switch from the Nematron model to the Hermes 3 model, and we will run the same example prompt. In 10,000 words or more, explain what large language models are. What we see now is utilization increasing on GPU 4. The reason why utilization is increasing only on a single GPU is because the Hermes 3 model is loaded entirely in GPU 4, and the utilization goes up when the model is running inference on the prompt that we submitted. For the latest developments in AI and ML, be sure to check out Lambda ML Times. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.